Right, well, hello there YouTubers. I'm uh, getting ready to do a boring job, but it's a very uh, necessary job. These are all the uh, crocodile leads I've got. And these are quite expensive actually. You only got a little pack of six different, you know, six and they're all different colours. And then I had to go and buy the um, banana plugs. So what we're going to do, we'll make up our leads with the banana plugs and then we can just push them into our crocodiles and, you know, use it like that. And if we want to plug it into our um, power supply or whatever, I mean, not that I'll do a mains radio and plug it into my small one here, because it's not enough, but if I needed to put a lead in, I could just clip it in like that. I'll probably get in a power supply one day maybe. That I'll have these connections on, and I'll be able to just plug it in. You know, obviously, it has to be um, isolated in that. So, I thought what we'll do is um, I'll show you doing one how I do it, uh, but I'm not going to show you doing every single one because there's a load of them here. So, basically, what we're going to do is get a soldering iron heated up. Um, should have done that first. And we need a vice, so we're going to get go and get our vice from the other room. And there's our uh, vice. Believe it or not, I've been using this to crack open coconuts. I'm just going to put it in the vice, just gently to hold it, because we're going to file. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Can you see it on camera? Hang on, I just I'll get a closer shot of this. And there we are. So what we're going to do, we get our file out. These are brand new files. We're on a small round one. There she is. What we need to do is we need to just basically file inside there. So the solder will take. Gonna have to clean these um, crocodile lead. Sorry, these uh, um, banana plug ends because of the fact that the file has got oil on. So we're gonna have to clean that. So while we're waiting for our iron to heat up, let's do the other one. Get it ready. Can you still see that? Yes, you can still see that. lovely file piece there it's good I need some rubbing alcohol on there get it all nice and clean that's the first one clean uh, there we go we're in camera here aren't we there we go that's that done Right, that's my length of wire I'm going to use. That's how long I want my leads to be. Now I've used one of the other ones as a guide as to how long they've been when I've been using them and I've added on an extra bit on the end um, because I want them a little bit longer. And I've cut another one exactly the same length so that I can then cut all the others to that same length. Okay, so we're going to strip the wires off the end. I use um, this kind of uh, stripper for this because I can get them all exactly the same. So we strip our wire off, I'm sleeving off our wire rather. Go. 
Oops, to down our ends. And now, because of the fact that we've been farming, we've probably got grease on the end of these, so we'll just soak these in uh, alcohol. There we go. And then we'll stick them in some flux. Just need to poke the wires in, that's it. And I'm going to use my um, extra pair of hands, this is called. Very handy device. And also, I want to point out that this wire is stranded, which is what you need for this sort of thing. So what we do is we set all this up. We're going to we're going to tin our our end. I mean, this is all basic stuff, really. But um, you know, there we go. I always cut a little bit off the end because you always end up with a blob on the end. There we go. I'll do the same on the other side, just checking to make sure that the um, crocodile thing hasn't put a hole in the wire, which it hasn't. And we do the same on the other end, exactly the same. We now made our multi stranded wire into a single wire. There we are. Don't need much solder, not at this stage. All we're doing is just tinning it. And it'll always take off the end. Right, now what we need to do is get our our um, what's the name end? We need to make sure that um, we've got everything sorted out we want. Right, okay, that's fine. So now we put that onto there. And position this need some um, pliers here. Where's my pliers going? There they are. Oops. There we go. Probably got a little bit too much solder on that. Stick that through the main hole and up through the centre. There we go. And we want a good mechanical connection. There we go. Right, let's give you a close up of that. I need a close up camera, that's what I need. Right, that's a closer shot of that. Okay, so we've got a little bit of wire sticking up here. We don't want that, so we're going to trim that off. Give us less to file. Right. Now we can get our flux. I don't know how I, I ever manage without flux. Now to get a good joint. I might even have to get my um, other solder line out with 25 watt one, but this should do it. We need to get the job nice and hot so that um, the solder will take. Because otherwise we end up with a dry joint and that is no good. Right, that's gone in nice. Okay. And now we put our rubbing alcohol on. It cools it all down, so we're not actually um, going to melt our cord. There we go. Now I'm going to wash that in. So that's what we've ended up with. See that? Now, if there had been too much solder in there, I'd just run the fire around there just to get rid of the solder. And all we've got to do is slip this on through here, push it through. 
and this and that's all you need that's it and there's the finished result but it's very boring because you have to do that for twice on each cable <laughs> and you have to also watch um, for the wires um, fraying inside every now and again take these off and check inside to see if the wires have been fraying and there's our finished wire with our two ends on now we've got to do that with all the others and we'll do that as long as we've got wire to do them with okay it's a really really simple thing but very very handy once you've done it and you'll see loads of people uh, making these leads up you know audio leads and all sorts of things you just basically make it up as you go along it's no good just making things up for the sake of it you want to make them up when you need things and then that way um, you know it's going to be in use yeah see quite quite great and it's quite um, a powerful grip as well nice actually these are better crocodile um, ends than what the um, other type are they're better machined better altogether okay so I just thought I'd share that with you I'm going to do a whole load of them now and then I'll get back to you but I, I, I'm limited for time so I won't be able to get very many done tonight but um, you know as it is the uh, 22nd Monday and it is um, coming up to a quarter to six and I've been up since um, four o'clock this morning so you know a bit tired too tired to work on radio but um, not too tired to do this all right I'll catch you catch you in a bit I'll let you know um, how I'll get on when I've done a few okay I don't need to film doing all of them I'll catch you in a bit